Welcome to Perspectives. I'm your host, Romjick Williamson. If you've watched any of our episodes, you know that we're passionate about getting healthy and staying healthy. Studies show that one out of three adults suffer from high blood pressure. Over the last 20 years, the rate of obesity has doubled in adults and tripled in children. Those are some very remarkable numbers. Now, if we want to stay out of those statistics, then we need to get on the move. Today's show, we have a special guest, Ms. Sean Hackett from One Life Health and Fitness, who's going to enlighten us about staying healthy. Sean, welcome to the show. Thank you. So tell us a little bit about One Life Health and Fitness. One Life Health and Fitness started approximately six years ago. Mm -hmm. um, we're located in the Making Mall, downstairs next door to Sears. Mm -hmm. um, it's a fully gym, equipped gym. Um, we have trainers on board. There's someone there at all times. Mm -hmm. When you come um, to work out, we make sure, first of all, to see exactly what it is that you're looking to do, um, what it is that you're looking um, to obtain. We try to motivate and encourage you to make sure that this is a lifestyle change, not something just for beach time or holiday time or wedding time. It's a lifestyle change. Mm -hmm. So we want to encourage you to get in, get a good regimen that's best for you, mm -hmm. because what works for you may not work for me. And a lot of people need to understand and realize that. And get, you know, make it fun. Right. You know, working out is about making it fun. That way you won't fall by the wayside. Right. You know, a lot of times people don't see the results as quick as they would like to. So they kind of just stop. Mm -hmm. But I encourage people that the weight did not come on overnight. Mm -hmm. So it takes a minute, just like it took a minute to come on, mm -hmm. it takes a minute to go off. So it actually does, some people do get discouraged because I think some people have the mentality, I go in the gym three days a week for a week and, it's come and it should come off. Right. But they have to realize that it didn't come on in three days, that right. it took several years for it to come on. Now. I'm going to be really candid with you on today. Um, I've heard some things about One Life Health and Fitness. Um, tell us about these boot camps that we've heard about. And I've heard some good things about the boot camps, and I've heard some, some things that have kept me away from the boot camp. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll talk about what kept you away. But One Life Health and Fitness Boot Camp is a place to come if you're ready to be mentally and physically challenged. Mm -hmm. um, yes, the workout is pretty intense, but it's about challenging yourself. Mm -hmm. It's all about what you want. If you come out there looking for some things to happen, it's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to push you and I'm going to motivate you right. um, to obtain the goals that you've set for yourself. Mm -hmm. Some people are out there to lose weight. Some people are just out there um, to regain themselves mm -hmm. back because of the stress and other obstacles that have come mm -hmm. in their way. Um, some people are out there to come off medications, mm -hmm. high blood pressure, high cholesterol, um, diabetes. Mm -hmm. So I'm out there to push you, to motivate you, and to encourage you. Well, let me, let me so, stop right there before we move on. How important is it for the individual to be self-motivated themselves um, in order to not get discouraged? They may not see the weight go off, or they may not see results as quickly as they would like. But how important is it for you to stay focused and to stay self-motivated yourself? Does that that play a big role in your overall performance? It, very big role. I tell people all the time, the very first thing you have to do is change your thought process. Mm -hmm. Change your thought process. Then look at exactly where it is that you want to be and imagine yourself mm -hmm. there. And then realize it takes baby steps to get there. Mm -hmm. You know, so again, don't come out there thinking that it's, you're going to lose 30 pounds or 40 mm -hmm. pounds in a week. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work that way. It takes a lot of work, right. you know, so that's what we pretty much encourage and motivate people to do. And you know, I think that, and I do work out um, maybe four or five days a week, <laughs> and so when I initially started going to the gym about two years ago, it was discouraging to me to see the guys doing the heavy lifting, and then I was starting with my, I won't mention the quantity I was lifting at the time, but it was discouraging at the time to see that I was such on this level and they were here, but as the years have gone by, I see the progression. And it doesn't happen overnight. It does take, you know, baby steps to get to where you need to be. So in, in your program, do you cater your, your workout uh, regimen to where the individual is? One thing about One Life Health and Fitness Boot Camp, we, we have a saying that you 
fall in where you fit in. Mm -hmm. My boot camp is designed to challenge everyone. Like the ladies that are here with me today, mm -hmm. they've been with me five to six years. Mm -hmm. However, Bless you. It's, however, it's still challenging mm -hmm. to them, you know, so my, what I give is for someone who's never worked out before will get something out of it, as well as someone who's been with me five or six years right. is going to get something out of it. And it's about, it's not about competition, mm -hmm. you know, and a lot of times that's where we can fail because we're competing. Right. It's not about being first, it's not about being last, mm -hmm. it's about just completing the drills, getting through it. Right. Well, let, let me ask this question, which is a very uh, question that's in vogue nowadays, um, losing belly fat. And, <laughs> and it, 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 you guys know it's a real question that we, we talk about on a daily basis. Um, that's why I heard some snickers in the audience, but losing belly fat, uh, some people say, I need you to do this amount of crunches a day in order to lose belly fat. But in my research, and I have researched some things, um, it says that it takes a lot of different things to lose belly fat, like changing your diet, eating more whole grains and things of that nature. What advice would you give as far as that's concerned? Good question. Because usually that's what everyone wants. Mm -hmm. Walk in and say, I want this gone. Mm -hmm. Or I do two, 300 sit-ups a day and it takes more than that. Mm -hmm. Number one, again, changing your thought process. Eating clean, cardio, and weight training. Okay. That's the formula to get the belly fat off. It's a misconception of all I have to do is crunches or sit-ups and it'll take the belly fat off. Mm -hmm. That's not going to happen. You gotta change the way that you're eating, number one, mm -hmm. the processed foods, the sugary foods, sugar turns into fat. And a lot of that is what's causing the body mm -hmm. fat. And then you have to get overall body fat off. Mm -hmm. It's not just the belly, it's the overall right. body fat that you have to get off. That way you can see the abs and then, you, because it's there, right. you know, the fat is just covering it. Mm -hmm. But once you get the overall body fat off and your abs are revealed, then you can go into different ab crunches or sit-ups or whatever it is mm -hmm. that you like to do that will actually define the abs itself. So while the adipose tissue is still there, is it helpful to still do your crunches in addition to changing your diet? A addition to changing your diet and addition to cardio and okay. the weight training. You still can do it. It's not to say, no, you don't need to do any mm -hmm. sit-ups or anything until after you lose the body fat, mm -hmm. but you have to do it all together. So you mentioned a clean diet. What do you mean by that? And I know we just got, I'm glad we're doing this show after the Thanksgiving holidays because a lot of us I'm sure <laughs> didn't have a clean diet during the Thanksgiving <laughs> holidays. Well, if we just be honest with ourselves. Exactly. So what do you mean by clean diet? When I say clean diet, get away from the junk food, mm -hmm. the cookies, the potato chips, the cookies, the cakes, the pies, you know, the processed foods. All get together? Well, not all together, but you need to increase your vegetable intake. Mm -hmm. You need to increase your fruit intake, your whole grains, you know, your fiber, mm -hmm. because a lot of us, we don't get the fiber that we need and not understanding that the fiber fills you up and mm -hmm. that way you're not overeating. Mm -hmm. And it also is very good on the digestive system right. to clean a lot of the waste out because a lot of times people think that they have a lot of body fat that they're fat here mm -hmm. but a lot of times it's not so much that it's fat it's just the bad foods that we've been eating mm -hmm. and the toxins that are there and it's just going out further and further mm -hmm. and further because the diet is not clean mm -hmm. you're drinking sodas and a lot of um, high fructose juices mm -hmm. instead of the water you know to flush that stuff out mm -hmm. so it's very very important. I'm not saying not to have, treat yourself from time right. to time, but not treat yourself every night to a big bowl of ice cream right. and uh, a pack of cookies. Well, you just spoil somebody's <laughs> evening. <I'm saying laughs> that. But you know, it's interesting that you talked about the whole grain foods because I began to look into that. You know, there's a lot of different options out there. There's the brown rice, and then there's even pasta. 
that's whole grain pasta and the cereals and the bread. So there's a lot of different options out there that we can substitute for the white rice or the, the regular white bread that we typically use. Um, so your guests that you have here today, I assume that you guys are some of the um, participants in the boot camp and yes. you have some testimonies. Yes, uh, Valerie Harden and uh, Miss Sandra Bryan. Okay. Yeah. And so you guys participate in the boot camp, I imagine? Yes. yes. Okay, so you told me before we started that you participated and you lost quite a big, uh, large amount of weight. Tell us a little bit about that. I've been working out with One Life for the past six years. Uh, the first couple of years that I worked out, I just stayed the same. Mm -hmm. And that's because I didn't change my eating habits. I continued to eat the junk food because my emotion was, my thought process was as hard as I work out, I should be able to eat anything I want to and right. still lose weight. You know what, what I just I told somebody that earlier yeah. this week, I can eat whatever I want to eat because I work out five, yeah. six days a week. But it didn't work I like know. that. Yeah. So I saw, listen to Sean, when she gave us our food challenges, you know, she would say, Go so two weeks with no meat, two weeks with no white food, no sugar. So when I started listening to her and I thought, I got to change something. My health was this, was declining. Um, I had a um, lot of major health issues with my blood pressure, mm -hmm. uh, high cholesterol, borderline diabetes. I was overweight. My doctor was prescribing all this medicine for me that was very expensive. And I thought, I need to change something else. You know, right. I shouldn't have to be. I was in my mid 40s. I didn't want to be one of those person that, as I age, they have to start taking all this medicine. So uh, Sean was coming out to my job, uh, having a class out there, but I was looking out the window at him, and I thought, Wow, <laughs> I can't do that. And so one session, I thought, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna right. give it a try because I got to change my life. I didn't want to be addicted to pills. Right. So that's what I did. I um, I started working out with her. It was hard at the beginning, and I thought I wasn't going to make it. I told my co-workers, I can't do it. Right. I can't do it. They said, yes, you can, Valerie. Keep going. Keep going. Right. So I started doing it. I started doing it at my own pace. Mm -hmm. you know, I wasn't worried about nobody else. I was doing it for myself. So and after two years of doing it, and I was still at the same place that I was, I wanted to change. I wanted to see a change in my life. Mm -hmm. So that's when I started uh, giving up white bread. I started eating whole grain. I um, started doing two weeks with no meat. And even now, I would have like a meatless day once a week mm -hmm. where I would just eat fruit and vegetables and um, I started seeing results. It started, the weight started coming off. Mm -hmm. It took me a year to lose right. the weight but it started slowly coming off and I could feel my, I even my exercise got better, mm -hmm. my breathing got better. When I went to my doctor, he was just amazed at where I was. You know, he, I was off all medication. He was like, I need to make a poster out of you, you know, to mm -hmm. show people how changing your life, exercising, eating right can change your life and right. change your health. So it has made some positive changes and you've I know sometimes when, when we're under the, the teacher, we tend to do certain things, but when we're away from the teacher, we tend to revert back to our, our old ways. So mm -hmm. you're continuing to do the things that you learned in the boot camp, right. trying to integrate it into your daily right. life and as well. And it's like you say, it's a lifestyle change. It wasn't for, um, for no particular occasion. Mm -hmm. It was I wanted to change my lifestyle. And mm -hmm. so I do have my treat days even now, but I, I read everything before I eat it. I read the, the ingredients to find out what's in it, you know, uh, how many the calories, how, what, mm -hmm. what it is. So I read everything even now today, and I'm very right. conscious about what I eat and try to and trying to stay healthy. Yeah, I, I'm glad you mentioned that. You said you were worried about your life, and a lot of people they begin to work out and they want to gain this big muscle and they want to wear the wear the tank tops or what have you. But if we sit down and think about it, you know, uh, poor appetite, poor. Um, health contributes to cardiovascular disease, contributes to high blood pressure, considered, contributes to increased stroke risk. So all of these things should be uh, in our head and, and fueling us to, to get active and participate in some type of exercise activity. Before we go to you, I know some people say, um, oh, I, I, I walk during lunch every day with the girls. Um, that's enough exercise for me. I don't, I don't need to do that. I may walk the stairs during lunch. Is that, what would you say to someone who says that, that, oh, I exercise. I walk the stairs every day during lunch. That's good. I commend them for doing something because at least they're moving, but you want to do a little bit more. Mm -hmm. You know, strength training is very important. You know, lifting weights, um, that, that's very important. And unfortunately, a lot of women, they feel that if they lift weights, they're going to be, you know, macho. But mm -hmm. that's, not the, that's not the case. Um, 
but again, yes, it's okay that they're walking, but a lot of times that's the reason people hit a wall, because mm -hmm. you need to trick the muscles, not do the same thing right, change every it up day. Just a little bit. Change yeah. it up some. Okay. Yeah. Now, you, your story is kind of similar. You lost about 15 to 20 pounds, am I correct? Mm -hmm. Correct. Tell us your story. Well, uh, mine began when uh, I was going back and forth to the mm -hmm. doctor regularly. Mm -hmm. uh, didn't understand why I was feeling the way that I was feeling. They discovered that I had problems with my blood pressure. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also a senior citizen. I'm 62 years old. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I'm like Valerie. I, I, I wanted my health. Mm -hmm. I wanted to hold on. I have grandkids and you know, I didn't know what else to do. And, mm -hmm. and I'm one of the ones that looked out the window and thought that they were crazy because they were running around the parking lot. I don't feel bad because I probably <laughs> would have looked out the window and said the same thing. <laughs> and, and I just thought, that's not for me. Maybe I can do something else. But the doctor kept increasing the medication. Right. He kept adding on other diuretics and all these things. And I, and I went to him one day and I said, tell me what I can do. It's got to be an alternative. Mm -hmm. And he said to get active. Right. So at that point, I joined in the class reluctantly mm -hmm. and I mean I was no good I couldn't right. run I couldn't jump rope I, I was not good at all but I, I kept coming back because one thing I know about this class that I'm in we motivate each other mm -hmm. Sean motivates us and we motivate each other and that's important and it's very important you know uh, it's it's a boot camp mm -hmm. and that's what it is and uh, I'm one of the people that want to wear a tank top at right. 62 uh, and that's okay, <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> and, it's, and it's very valuable in mm -hmm. my life and I encourage my daughters and other family members because I, I do get the results. When I went back to the doctor, um, I'm not on any medication at all and that's amazing for, that's great. for a senior citizen. Oh, wow. you know, and, and I continue to do that because I want to stay off the meds right. and I want to continue to be able to wear a right. tank top and it's a lifestyle change for me as well but I know that just like I have to do maintenance on my car, I have to maintain this body. That's right. That's right. Listen, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to exercise with Sean. Stay with us. <laughs> Are you overwhelmed with vitamins? Do you have so many supplements that you have actually forgotten why you take some of them? Are you not getting the results you want from your new supplement program? Hi, at Scott's Pharmacy, we are extensively trained in vitamins, minerals, and herbal products. We are also experts at medications, various disease states, and drug nutrient interactions. So no matter what your issues, blood pressure, diabetes, to hair loss, we can help. Stop by Scott's Pharmacy for a consultation and start looking better, feeling better, and being better. Hello and welcome back to Perspectives. If you're just joining us, we're having a wonderful time talking about health and fitness with Ms. Sean Hackett from One Life Health and Fitness. Now, as you see, I've changed my garment a little bit. We're going to do some exercises with Sean. So I told her already, don't kill me, but I'm going to try to hang in there. So what you got for me today? We're going to do a little circuit training where you get a total body workout. We're gonna work upper body, we're gonna get some cardio going. We're gonna do a little legs, we're gonna work some abs. Okay. Just a continuance movement. All right, let's do it. You ready? Let's do it. All right, let's go, Freya. Yeah, I'm new to the game, but y'all might want to say you ain't ready to late, save the time. I 
like a jazz song. Yeah, I'm stuck. Yeah, I'm looking at something like you What you doing? You're talking about a man that can dance like a boss. He's a man with the tool in his pain. Now, I'm a lady, let me see it vibrate. And when the sun is in the kitchen, Cause I'm a pro, make you bend your back low. Then I got a real bad to like the perfect to like. He's gonna throw the ball to you, catch the ball. Working your obliques, working your obliques. There you go. There you go. One more, one more. There you go. Okay. Jump off the damn up so it's That's your favorite. That's your favorite. That's your favorite. Come on, that's your favorite. That's your favorite. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. There you go. Go down. That wore me out right there. Let's, before I catch my breath, hope you learned a lot on this episode. Join us next week. You've been watching Perspectives. Take care.